All right, what is the chip of the day? Uh, the chip of the day is the LM2907. It is a frequency to voltage converter. So the chip inputs frequency and it generates a voltage proportional to what frequency it sees. All right, so um, applications, tachometers, um, let's see, speedometers, speed governors. Uh, so like here's a little example, it has a magnetic pickup and the voltage will be proportional to the speed at which the shaft is rotating. Um, there are some values of resistors and capacitors that you need to calculate in order to use this within a certain range of, um, of frequencies. Let's see here if we can come down a bit. So here's a block diagram. There's a tachometer input, a charge pump. And so as it's whacking up and down, it's charging that capacitor and generating some voltage. There's an RC network here that kind of averages that out and gets, it gets you into a, uh, a DC voltage and then it's buffered and, and, and sent out. Um, what else do we need to know? There's a lot, of, like I said, a lot of stuff, very complicated little part. Uh, it's a cool data sheet. You should look look through the day sheet. It's got like a like all kinds of stuff in here. Um, so we are going to use this particular circuit. Um, we have a 0 0.01 microfarad on pin two. We have a hundred k and one microfarad on pin three. Ten k pulled down on pin four, and that's our output. And then we have it wired up like that. So. This is the circuit that I have. The only difference I have is instead of a magnetic pickup, I'm using the function generator of the, uh, the Rigol oscilloscope, and I'm inputting it onto pin one with a 0 0.01 capacitor AC coupled. So I'm AC coupling into pin one. But that's the only difference that I have in my circuit. And like I said, the data sheet has all kinds of really cool stuff in it. So, um, 100 cycle delay switch, flashing LED over speed, uh, Butterworth filter help ripple, magnetic pickup with Zener regulation, uh, finger touch contact sensitive switch, over speed. Uh, so all kinds of good circuits here. Frequency switch with hysteresis. Uh, wheel speed, select high current diagram. Very lengthy, uh, very lengthy di uh, data sheet. So anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at it. So here's the uh, here's the circuit, um, and let's take a look at what it does. All right. So obviously the blue trace is the input, and the yellow trace will be the output. And so we can go change the frequency. I'm going to be in the way. Let me walk around the camera. Okay, so if I, if I increase the frequency, I'm at uh, 388 hertz. You can see the, the voltage is going up. Voltage goes up. And then as I lower the frequency, the voltage goes down. 487 hertz. 360 hertz, 277 hertz. So you can see it's converting voltage into frequency. So pretty cool little chip. This one goes up, this circuit with the R's and C's that we're using gets us up to around 600 hertz. And uh, kind of its sweet spot in the middle of the voltage range is around 300 hertz. So yeah, so about 0, 300, 600 kind of thing. Probably doesn't go to zero, but um, anyway, between 300 in the middle uh, looks pretty cool. So if you have a need, a need to do this, it's kind of cool. Uh, this is a big fat one microfarad capacitor and a couple other things in there, but uh, very simple, very simple circuit. That is a LM2907, eight pin, uh, eight pin chip.